Hello, welcome back. Another year, another early access update, another fail project. I assume this will be a fail project because there's no way they can make up all of the content they didn't make until this point. So, I have a big update for the game, the Roaming Titans update. And I'm not expecting a lot to happen right now. I'm just expecting the game to be at least decent and playable because the first time I played the game, it felt more like uh, I was better testing the game or was alpha testing the game, I felt. I don't know, sometimes you just feel like you should be paid to play a certain game because you're, all you're finding out are bugs, you're finding out problems with the game, you're breaking the game and you're also not really advancing too much. So this is what I had last time I played. A dirty pool of trash, bone, meat. And that guy over there. And from what I can see, they still haven't fixed the FPS issues or some of the other bigger problems. Don't worry, we'll start a new game in a second. I just want to get a good look at that guy. And there are still problems with that game. I don't know. Maybe if I start a new game, it will be a little better. So what can I change over here? Maybe you can lower shadow quality a little bit. To be honest, nothing really helps when you're playing a game like this. Nothing really helps. You can lower the settings 10 times. But the game will still run the same way because if there are huge problems with the optimization and performance, it will not be any different. I think I forgot the goal of the game. Probably we have... Okay. <laughs> Let's see how close we can get to the Titan. Probably would need to use a boat or something. Hey, fish. So yeah, this game was all about exploring and as you can see we had islands and stuff over there and... Yeah, I guess the concept was very good. Exploration. Titans, everything you needed. Except that the game kind of devolved into this weird island survival game where you had to just farm. I think he notices us. Uh, I think he noticed us. Uh, hello, do you have a cup of sugar? <laughs> I needed to bake a pie. <laughs> well, I'll give it one thing, it has pretty good wave simulation. Nothing's going to stop me. <laughs> I don't know, this was very similar to Valheim, if you ask me. Come on, I just want to be friends, don't... Don't kill me. <laughs> Your super death beam cannot hurt me. I guess we're almost dead. Uh, and yes, this is exactly what attracted me to the game the first time we played. The Titans and... oh. Are we hitting an invisible wall? No, not really. And we died. Oh, we cannot quit while we are dead. Okay. <laughs> That's a lesson for the future. You cannot quit while you are dead. So, walls, uh, delete, yes. Oh. Okay, let's create another world. I just wanted to test the performance and some other things with that Titan thingy. So, let's see if it gives us the tutorial or what exactly changed. Because I read the patch notes and if you read the patch notes, it sounds amazing. But if you play the game, it's... Usually more or less the same thing. What is that over here? Is that a... Oh, it's a turtle looking at the... Oh, wow. 
Yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it is. Oh, so... I think I remember how this game is played. You have a character... And you can play on different seeds with the characters. How do I create a new character? Okay, let's delete the profile. Let's delete the world. What's the difference? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we can make a new character. A red, blue. We'll go with blue. <laughs> the C, yeah, in case you don't have enough C. So that's a new character and this will be a new world. So as you can see, it's already becoming a pretty clear thing that the game will be super grindy, no matter how you choose to look at it. Because if you can move from world to world, that means you'll be able, you'll be able to grind a lot because you won't find what you need on a single seed or whatever, I don't know. I think I'm just remembering stuff from what I played. <laughs> I guess the goal is to create a base and then set sail to other islands and do other stuff. Yeah, it does seem a little better if you just... Oh. <laughs> okay, that, uh, it's funny, I forgot about that part. Let me see... Crab Shell Axe. The quest told me to do something, but I forgot what... Eh, whatever. Let's destroy more bushes. Oh yeah, this part is not actually that bad. Rat burgers. Oh, we'll never escape our rat burger <laughs> destiny. This is the part of, about the game that I really liked. Water gel. Oh, interesting. Where the tides and the water just can... I mean, I don't know. It's a very good kind of island simulator type of deal. Full inventory. Well, I guess I need to make some tools. Okay, we have stats up, sprint bonus, invent... Well, inventory bonus seems like it's the only way to go now. Oh, we have the... Okay, we have the coconut over there. Wait, where did that rib cage come from? You have to click. You, you cannot click and hold. Well, inventory is full. I guess we don't need a dead rat. Wait, we can... Okay. Let's eat water gel. Oh, that's for water. Oh, and I need some cigarettes, okay. How do I drop things? Hmm, okay. Let's not uh, touch the little... Okay, anything that looks like a titan we will not interact with. That's actually pretty close to us. Okay, we have a crab shell axe. And what was the next thing? Hmm. 
I think we can only cook one at a time. So that's for more stacks. That's almost shells. Okay, I guess the game is not bad as it is. I'll just put all of the points I have into inventory. Can I put more? No, I cannot. 60 health. Okay, now I know why I had a lot of meat over there. How do I create stuff, which is the more interesting thing? I think I have a build button or something. Yeah, the game is not really... <laughs> it's not really giving me a lot of hints of, on what to do or how to do it. So, we have even an aim, shift, kick with Q. Open menu, navigation, pause. Huh, I don't remember a lot of things. Builder bench. I guess we should just make the builder bench as soon as possible. Oh, we have three little golems over there. I guess we can think of that as fiber. Oh, come on, leave me alone. I'm pretty sure we can kill one of these things. I might be wrong though. Oh, they don't have a lot of health. Huh. Okay, let's just... Oh. It has seemed a little better. I don't remember the game being as interactive as this one. There are a few problems with moving and the camera from what you can see. I guess I will go towards the light. Chicken? Yellow Titan, really. Chicken! The chicken is not friendly in this game. And I think I used that shovel to dig up artifacts from that place, okay. So probably I should set up a little base over here since the game is kind of telling me. To make a base over here. Oh yeah, you cannot interact with the... Okay, whatever. Oh, the fuel is basically gone in a few seconds. Well, that's an annoying way to do things. I don't think I'll need... The bench... Well... I don't want to do inventory management... I don't want to do inventory management every 3 seconds, so let's just... Make the bench over here. Oh. Hey. Yeah, as you can see, if you don't play a game when it's released or if the game takes too long to develop, you will end up with situations like this where you don't really like the concept anymore. Okay, build. So I can make bone. Okay, a bag. I want a bag. Well, a proper backpack that will need iron or... I don't know, maybe I'll play more of the game. It seems kind of interesting. So let's hunt for crabs now. But before we hunt for crabs, let's get another steak, because apparently steak heals you. I don't know, it's good for the soul. It's like in uh, Bucky, when that big guy eats steak to heal his uh, bullet wounds. Why not exactly bullet wounds, shotgun shell wounds. I don't know whether it has the exclamation mark on it. Also, I saw a destroyed uh, boat over here. I guess we came with a boat. Oh, wow. <laughs> so these guys are actually dangerous. Okay. 
or cannonball. That's for sure doing right. We'll be able to use a cannonball. That means we'll be able to use a cannon. I think one of the things I didn't like about the game was that... Was that at some point... Yeah, you just get a full inventory no matter what you do. Okay, let's go back and build a ba small backpack because by the time we can build a bigger one, we'll... Will be, I don't know, full of items again. I think the game has a day and night cycle. I don't really remember. Okay, so a leaf hat. One shade, two shade. I guess that's in case of heat. Yeah, we should probably cut some more wood. It's giving me a lot of homesteading. Oh, that's soft wood. That's not branches. Hmm. Yeah, the game. Did, let's make very clear what the resources are. I guess we'll need branches, not soft wood. I'm just doing this for the experience. Correctly, we need a lot of those shards, and I think the game should have had some kind of a climbing mechanic, but I don't think it has. Okay, so I guess you have to destroy the bushes first of all, and then the rats. Inventory is full. Yeah, I forgot about this. It was kind of annoying to deal with all of the problems in the beginning. The camera is very annoying because it just jumps all over the place. Oh, what? What is this? Steak Haven? I think a lot of people would be happy if a steak falls out of a rat. Chicken has a nice little nest over there. Tree sap. I, if I remember correct, tree sap was pretty important, but I saw a crab over there. So the crabs have crystals on them. Yeah, this is a bit of the annoying part where you would kill enemies and if they... If they die in the water, you cannot see where their shells drop, so... I'm picking up fine sand instead of picking up their crab shells. Hmm, that's a bit annoying, okay. So, change of plans. We'll just try to hunt... No, no, no. We'll make the small bag first. Yeah, I can only remember why I stopped playing in the first place. It was so... Intensive farming, intensive. But I see that they might have fixed more of the problems and the game being more or less playable now. Have builder's bench. I think I only need a chest for now. Oh, we need, <laughs> we need to hunt all of the crabs available to us. Can I make some furniture? Mm, apparently not. Below water sensor. Hammock. Hmm. 
Hmm, some torches here and there. Okay, so I guess it's back to harvesting resources. I'll just throw everything on the floor over here. Oh, yeah, the drop... Okay. That will be kind of annoying. So let's just drop all of the items in a single bag if we can. Come on, drink it. I guess I can use those as resources. I probably will need a lot of those. So we'll keep them on an inventory because we'll probably need uh, to collect them for the entire game. Yeah, and those things glow in the dark, so it's, they are much easier to see. Those look like buildings in the distance. What am I hitting? Oh, I think it's the boat. Oh! You can get glowing very soon. And I guess the rats are aggressive during the night. See, this is why I don't trust trailers or pictures or just edited stuff in general because that looked amazing. If you see a picture of that over there, I'll put it as the thumbnail. You will think the game is amazing, but it's not really about that. It's not really that great. I don't think the gentle, the titan will see us or want to kill us. At least not for now. So I was looking at the backpack. Or the cloth pack. And I guess I just need a lot more. Oh wow, that's a lot of seagrass I'll need. Pig poop? Make a torch? Really? Why? That doesn't sound like something you would want to carry in your hand if it's made from that, okay? Wait, we have seagrass and fire grass. I guess it's all about the elemental stuff. Okay, let's go and get more seagrass and then we'll make a hammock. Maybe we can sleep during the night. Because I want to see what I'm doing. I guess the FPS is better and I'm not getting the same problems as before. The gameplay is a little more interesting or maybe I haven't played in a while. But yeah, one of the reasons I'm playing the game or I played it in the beginning is because it reminded me a little bit of, of Outward, as you can imagine, with the backpack system and the uh, harvesting of resources and stuff like that. It does look a little bit similar, not a lot, but a bit. You'd think it would be very easy to find crabs, but no, they are not easy to find. Oh, now we're getting a few of them. Also, it's very hard to move because you don't move in a... V you move kind of like in older video games. You move... How should I put it? You move in a very... Jumpy mode. So if I press backwards, you turn around. If I, I mean, if I press S. It's kind of hard to explain how movement is. Yeah, I guess it's not really fluent. Where did I get a bottled water from? I remember tree sap is important. I don't need a dead rat game. And the camera is very jumpy. I didn't get a crap shell, really? Well, I guess I just need one for crabs, and when I make the better backpack, I'll end the video. Oh yeah, the yellow stuff actually... Okay, I remember the, uh, the story right now. 
The yellow shards actually repel the water, so that's why the water was not there. Wait a minute, if I toss the crystal over here, will it repel the water? Hmm, not really. Yeah, let's swim to land, because we cannot harvest anything we kill like that. Well, I guess a lot of people will like these mechanics, but I think they are a little exaggerated in the beginning. Because you cannot really complete your objectives. Unless you farm, and to farm you need a lot of ground, or solid ground. And you're not really given that. It's daytime again. So all of that trouble for what? One crap share. Well, this might take a while. Oh, and our bag is basically a pouch. Okay, I didn't even see that. Okay, so... It makes sense that we cannot hold a lot of items since we only have a pouch on our belt or... or on our little sash, pirate sash. Mm, yeah, I think I'll play more of the game because it... Why do the crab shells keep disappearing in the, into nothingness? Or I'm... Probably the crab will not give you a crab shell every time. Which is annoying, but... Uh, yeah, it repels the water. I guess it's not so bad to be on a desert island. Zack died, okay. I couldn't move. I guess these little titan shards have the power of the ocean. <laughs> Sounds like a commercial for a soft drink. Yeah, all you have to do is just attack and go away a little bit. Well, at least until I get a shield or a better weapon. Actually, this is not even... This is a tool, it's not a weapon. Chris, hello? Yeah, you better run chicken. I guess we should have come over here and do the quest sooner. I actually don't remember where the quests are put. Exploration, adventuring, homestead. Do you have a journal of some kind? Okay, I'm trying to do a quest game. Yellow crystals and a few bottles, okay. Refined yellow crystals. I have no idea what's going on. Apparently I'm doing a lot of quests that I should have done in the beginning. Oh, I can refine the big crystals into the small crystals. Okay, I guess that will be useful. Okay, now I want to play more of the game, but I'm sure... I'm not sure if this respawn. Let me guess it's chasing me. Oh, the night berries give you more food. I 
I'm stuck if you're wondering what's happening. I guess you can eat all of the berries and then just throw away the rest. So many crabs here and they'll probably kill me. <laughs> I like how everything just explodes into something. We're dangerously close to being killed by the crab. Okay, I think we're actually making progress now. Oh, we're actually quite a bit away. Hmm, I think that guy should have spawned closer to us, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I guess we're not safe from being flooded here either. Let me see, the game wants me to refine the yellow crystal and for that I need... An empty bottle. Where do I get an empty bottle? I have to go back to that guy. Oh yeah, I remember, it's a hassle. I guess while I'm here I could make the better backpack. Ah, just throw away that one. I guess we can keep it like this. Rare stuff over there, basic resources over here, fine sand over there. I guess I don't have a lot of chances of finding a bottle near the water. Yeah, I think I should just go over there and get the bottle, okay. <laughs> I'll try to refine this and then I'll end the video. I guess I'm just trying to see if the game is better. I can see some merit with being more complete right now, but still... Chasing bottles is not my idea of a good time. Oh yeah, you also get the treasure maps which are usually on land, so we can try to dig up a treasure, but I, oh, I think that was that's exactly what I was doing in the other uh, world seed. I was trying to dig up treasures and I was only finding skeletons and other stuff. Captain's log. Yeah, great, let me read one hour of this. I guess we'll need to put it over there. And then refine it. Okay, so... That's not so bad. Let's go to the other guy and then I'll end the video. Yeah, some of the problems were fixed, but the major problems were not. So basically I will need to farm 1 million rats for steaks, so I can have healing items. Yeah, probably I'll need some armor as well. I saw that I need the bones for something later. I'm getting homesteading and adventuring experience. Nice. I mean, you can see how fast the stars drain on me, so I guess later on, the more we advance in level, the more we'll be able to adventure. And I guess swimming is not really a good idea. I really want to go and see what's in that tower.
I randomly get stuck and I don't understand why. That's definitely a major bug. You see that dead chicken rat? You see it? You are warned. I'm actually pretty close to dying. I think I'm ready to investigate the ruins. Oh, this is the part where I got stuck. <laughs> Okay, so I guess we have seen enough and we have made up our mind. A chicken egg. I don't need as many dead rats as the game thinks I need. I don't think I'll need the fine sand either. So I think I'll just farm some resources over here. You died. No! The rats finally got me, the dirty rats. I think this game will give a lot of people seasickness and it's also pretty hard to navigate yourself in this little map. Wait, I spawned over here. I guess my base is over there. Hmm. This might be problematic because the water will cover the land and I don't think I'll be able to find my way home all the time. If I'm indeed going the right way. Uh, good thing I put my stuff over there near the thing that shines. Yeah, this could be this could be a problem. I guess I just need to play more of the game and advance more in the game, make some proper proper armor, some proper clothes. And I guess it would be great if the game would stop making me pick up the dead rat instead of the items. No game, no, no more red burgers, please. Also see that I have these hearts over here and it filled up one, so I'm not sure what that's all about. So I guess we'll, I'll be back later when I have more steaks available, more stuff to cook, more stuff to show. Kind of annoying that you have to do this all the time just to cook something. Yeah, they should allow you to play with your inventory even if you are in that menu. See you next time. Bye.